Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jojo here, back with another video on OneDrive. Now, in the past two videos, I showed you how to get a OneDrive for a business account. The only problem was, it's not compatible with Mac OS X. But luckily, two days ago, Microsoft released an update for their regular OneDrive that finally allows native folder sharing syncing for both PCs and Macs. What this means is the insider folder that I share with you will be available on your Mac or PC as if it was actually a part of your computer. This is great because you won't actually have to use the web app in order to gain access to um, our shared insider folders. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a Microsoft account. PC users using Windows 8.1 and above, you should already have one. If not, you're going to have to create one. Um, now you might be asking me, Joe, in the last videos, didn't we create a Microsoft account? And the answer is no, we created a business account. Uh, and Microsoft separates both uh, business and personal. So um, go ahead and sign up for the account and be sure to hit the regular OneDrive, uh, not the OneDrive for Business. Now, unlike OneDrive for Business, you can use any email uh, you so wish to choose. You don't need to use your Shulik email like in the last one. But if you want to, go ahead and do so. So go ahead and create the account. And once you do, I will have shared with you uh, in, in Facebook, uh, just look below, there should be the link there. Um, the folder for uh, the executive contact list. So I've added a couple columns here, uh, student number, uh, Microsoft account, Schulich email, and WhatsApp. So go ahead and fill all that out, specifically your new Microsoft account email. Please put that in there. Uh, and then I will, uh, I will be able to share with you the insider folder so that you will have access to it on your PC. So once you do this, you type in the Microsoft account, um, uh, I will have shared with you a folder. Um, after that folder has been shared with you, I need you to go back to your OneDrive and log in. So let's go back here and log in to my OneDrive. Okay. And click next. Uh, go ahead and hit regular OneDrive once again. This is not OneDrive for business. So yeah, if you use the same Schulich email, uh, it'll ask you what you would like, the OneDrive for business or OneDrive for personal. So just go ahead and hit the personal one like I did back there. Yep, that's the wrong password. <clears throat> So go ahead and input your credentials and you'll have access to your OneDrive. Now I need you to follow these steps carefully because this is uh, this is what will allow you to share your OneDrive uh, folders with your finder down here. So I need you to go down and hit the shared tab over here. Now you'll see this folder that I will have shared with you will show up the insider folder. Go ahead and click that and up here where it says add to my OneDrive, go ahead and click that. This will actually uh, allow the shared folder to become uh, a part of your finder over here. So go ahead, hit add folder. And hit close once it's done. And once you go up to files, you should see the insider folder right here. So now it's a part of your OneDrive. So now we have everything set up. We have the shared folder, a part of your OneDrive. Um, and now what we need to do is get that folder on your finder. Now, if you're a PC user, you should already have the OneDrive application installed. If not, you're gonna have to go to onedrive.com or uh, in a Mac user's case, the App Store, and go ahead and download OneDrive. Uh, here we go, download on the Mac App Store. It will open up, launch the application, go ahead and download it, open it, and sign into your OneDrive account. Go ahead and input my credentials here once again. Signing in. And then you can choose which folder. I usually leave it at the default location just because it's easier. And hit next. And you can choose which files you want to sync. If you have files on there you don't want to sync, maybe like videos, go ahead and uncheck that. I'm just going to leave it at all. 
and that's it. You'll see this little icon in the top corner. It'll start your syncing beautifully. And if you want to check the progress of it and make sure everything worked, go ahead and hit your finder. Navigate to where you put the folder. I put it in here. I usually, I usually put it in favorites just so it's easy to, uh, to get to. And then if you see the insider folder right here, it means you did everything properly. If not, feel free to send me a message and we'll try to work things out. So once again, sign up for a Microsoft account, input your Microsoft account information into this Excel document so I can share the folder with you. And then go back to your OneDrive account and ensure that you have added the folder to your personal OneDrive so that you can sync it to your computer after you download the app. Might be a lot to take in, but again, let me know if you have any questions and hope this works out for you. Talk to you all soon and uh, see you at Boots and Hearts if anybody's going. Ciao.